okay let's talk about pomegranate pomegranate so November is the national pomegranate month so I thought I can talk about this fruit today actually I wanted to break this open and uh, fill all these seeds in these boxes so that I can take it to work tomorrow this I planned to record last week but I couldn't get time so I'm going to do it now okay let's do it so my plan is to talk about pomegranate and its benefits its history I can talk all day take a day to finish the stories but I'll try to finish in one or two hours let's see so there is a lot of information that's the reason I thought I can use this time while I de-seed this and pack it I can talk to you some information I am aware of okay so this is actually considered as a sacred fruit with a ruby seeds of course the color right November is the pomegranate uh, month and national pomegranate but that's what we consider this is considered as fruit of abundance and fertility I need a knife This has so many seeds that may be the reason it's considered as the symbol of abundance and fertility. Um, it has red juice, represents the blood, the river of life, and also considered as the fruit of the gods. I am going to talk about why is it considered as fruit of the gods, okay? That's our main talk, but besides that, the health benefits and uh, some of the research studies published and you know some clinical trials that's what we will discuss so maybe let's talk about what uh, the outline what i'm talking about so at the after i talk about all these um some interesting stories we will go de in detail about the health the benefit okay so first one support blood pressure i have some like you know you can see that i wrote in a, in different papers like abstract form it was there for last two weeks and it couldn't record earlier okay so it says it can sub support blood pressure clinical trials uh, showing it can boost nitric oxide that's a good thing you know that regulate blood pressure uh, control blood pressure of course there are some mixed studies around about cholesterol regulation i assume that is related to niacin vitamin b3 we will talk about that later um then it has a drug interaction even if you are eating planning to eat and if you are taking drugs of course everybody eat pomegranate but if you are taking drugs you have to be a little careful because we don't want to get um, like a drug interaction, especially with the statins or warfarin. So you may need to talk to your doctor uh, if you plan to eat like every day a cup of pomegranate or like one pomegranate a day or something like that. Okay, I'll tell you the reason. Some of the studies shows that um, eating 50 grams is not beneficial, but eat, eating 200 grams is beneficial so we will talk about that of course it, these benefits will be of uh, for patients who are taking for eating for long term not for like a day or something right so that's another one then uh, like i said warfarin is the drug people take for blood uh, to prevent blood clot if you are taking that i will talk about all those details later 
then of course it has an because i may forget to tell you because if i keep talking about all the benefits i may miss telling you about the um, bad things right that's the reason i have to mention that at first so um it can cause diarrhea because um especially if you are have a gentle belly gentle uh, you are very sensitive uh, if you chew the seeds some people just uh drink uh they prefer drinking this or oh, i don't advise that you just eat if you don't have don't you have teeth right you have teeth right you better eat just use your teeth you know don't 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 drink uh water is to drink not juice you just chew and eat it right but the problem is if you have a gentle stomach I want you to be very careful because the intestine, of course, all of our uh, intestinal cells like a columnar epithelium, like mucosal lining, microvilli, all these are very gentle and soft, but that doesn't matter. Some people has very irritate, like it, it can, anything can irritate them. And some others are like, you know, they can eat anything. So if you have a very gentle, especially if you take tab medications, that's the reason it can turn into this kind of condition. So those people, if you eat, chew and uh, eat a lot of seeds, um, swallow, maybe if you chew really, really well, it would be fine. That's what I'm assuming. But if you eat um, a lot, like if not chewing well, it's going to cause diarrhea. So that's the one warning I have to tell you. Uh, not much. Oh, second point. Like, of course, we are going to talk about the benefits of in, uh, patients who are uh, with a, a diabetic patients, right? So we're going to discuss about that because most of the studies done is in diabetics and uh, cholesterol. So if you are... Um, interested in that or if you are taking those like it's a good thing to listen because it's there is a lot of studies out there it is beneficial to patients who has the type 2 diabetics and if they are taking if if they have high, high cholesterol uh, pomegranate will be very beneficial there is some good clinical studies i um you know why it is trustworthy because it has a a uh, lot of uh, studies and even NIH is approved uh, some of the papers uh, in their publications mentioning that it is, you know, beneficial. But don't uh, misunderstand and don't think that it will just, it, it cannot prevent heart disease if you are just eating a lot of bunch of cholesterol and uh, not controlling your food. It's not going to help you to like just to, it's like a miracle in a week or something. No, we will talk about that later. But keep in mind, don't assume that this video is about, oh, you just can protect from heart disease if you just eat this and not changing your lifestyle. What is What do you mean by changing the lifestyle? That means you reduce your food intake, right? Like you are eating too much cholesterol and fat or sugar. We will talk about all those during this time. Anyway, so the second study, so the blood pressure, there is some clinical um, uh, relevance there. And uh, cholesterol reduction, yes, there are some studies there. And uh, uh, blood uh, uh, glucose, this can reduce glucose level in type 2 diabetic patients. But keep in mind, if you just take like a, in one sitting, if you are eating two or three pomegranate it's going to increase the sugar level because it's a fructose right glucose fructose right sugar so it can convert into glucose very easily so don't assume that you can just uh, eat this in one stretch or drink a lot of juice and uh, be cured no that's not uh, i'm going to talk about all those in detail later but uh, the studies showed daily moderate consumption of uh, pomegranate and uh, can benefit in type 2 diabetic patient and type 2 diabetic patient who has blood pressure and uh, cholesterol uh, or uh, high cholesterol okay so those studies then i have what else i have to mention so let's look at it so one of the studies it's showing i'm going to explain that later but thought maybe what if you uh, you don't have time to listen everything okay so 
one study shows clinical trials with 101 patients it is a 2014 study okay in those uh, it's showing reduced blood pressure okay that's a good thing and reduced triglycerides uh, oh, okay so they uh, reduced uh, ldl and triglycerides ldl means um low density lipoprotein right people talk about bad cholesterol of course this cholesterol this is very important for our body keep in mind until 20 years of age these things were like really good for your body that's what everybody think and of course that's a truth right of course this is important for our body but the problem is if you have too much in the body these things are very dangerous that's the reason this consider as bad cholesterol don't think that you don't need LDL of course to produce all the hormones and uh, you know you need LDL in your body it is important but the problem is our lifestyle is very different we eat too much too much means what too much means literally we eat a week worth of food in one day I know you don't believe me don't you but that's the truth actually we eat a lot right like like sometimes for the dinner you have pasta like a, what is it ice cream chicken all those things right like old days think about it our body actually made to consume only very not that much in every single day that's the reason we are getting diseases we will talk about all those things in future like if we have time, we can mention, uh, explain that. But keep in mind, we are eating too much. That's a major thing. That's why we are getting all these diseases. So this has some magical effect. So how is it protective? So those are the things we will discuss. Okay. So this LDL, let's talk about LDL. LDL is the low density lipoprotein. This is simple to understand. Okay. In the blood. This is like a very soft, like a spongy floating in the blood. It's going to be very fluffy. Okay, that's all it means. Cholesterol, which is very fluffy, fluffy. Is that the word? Fluffy. It's going to flow through the blood vessels. Okay, everything will be fine. But the problem is when it, it can block if you have too much. Of course, just after we eat food, your blood will be filled with the triglycerides and LDL, a lot of cholesterol, right? But uh, normally, uh, like if you are like eating every day a lot of cholesterol and all, uh, like a fatty food and sugar and all, extra sugar, they have to convert into fat, isn't it? So these uh, cholesterol converted into low lip density lipoproteins, this is going to float around. So what happened is it's going to be this very fluffy stuffs going to block your blood vessels oh you may be thinking what does that mean it's very simple to understand okay i'm explaining this to people uh, wanted to know the details okay if you are really impatient please skip and see halfway just skip it okay skip the video or i'll make another short video some other time okay sorry about taking all this time okay anyway this ldl actually going to one easy way to remember i'm going to tell you that point so they it can block a pe person's uh, blood vessels especially in the brain of course all the organs we have very small blood vessels right but the problem here is like about the blood vessels of your brain if it is very tiny teeny tiny blood vessels are blocked with this cholesterol nobody is there to go and clean right of course our white blood cells will do their job but if it is too much uh, fat in our body it's going to be blocking every time right like i know people talk about like if you eat too much like sometimes if the high cholesterol is too high sometimes people faint for like a fraction of seconds that is an indication oh you control your food that's a that's a big indication okay and start exercising why start exercising because you already have a lot of fat deposit in your body it to because if you stop eating okay you don't you are not taking in more but what if you already have a lot of fat deposit in your body 
those are going to liberate into your body to as LDL and uh, HDL and triglycerides. Is, is that make sense? So body is trying to find way to produce more even if you don't eat for a couple of days. I know people, uh, we will talk about fasting and all later but uh, in this video but uh, keep in mind. So the, this LDL actually going to be there. So why people talk about exercise? So already you ate a lot and our body has a lot of deposits. Though that can be used to buy the body. So after like, you know, maybe a year or so, it, it cannot do that overnight. I'm telling you the truth, okay? It's, it won't work like magic. It can control in a six months or it has to be very strictly controlled. In a year, people can change drastically. I'm telling you, it's like it works like a miracle. Because you have to understand what is the science behind it. If you really, really understand, you don't doubt. You just start like, if you don't know, like, okay, their doctor is giving me a pill, a tablet, and I'm going to just eat and uh, eat the cholesterol medication or a diabetic medication and eat, the, eat normally, like whatever I am eating. Oh, that's not the magic. Okay, I'll explain that uh, later. But let's talk about LDL. So this study shows that um, I'm talking about this 2014 study. Okay, I think it is actually one of the NIH article. I think that's why I put it because last week I remember everything when I wrote this uh, scribbled in the paper. But now I I have to go back and check. But this study shows that people get lower, lowering blood uh, LDL cholesterol level also and triglycerides level also. Okay, so LDL can block your blood vessel so that pe people can get stroke. That means if it is blocked for a long time, it can kill the brain. The reason brain cell need oxygen, like it cannot survive more than few minutes. Like within seconds, some people can faint but uh, that, that means it's always we breathe, right? We, we will like, un, like it's not controlled by our will. Of course, our muscle, like our eye movements are controlled by our will. We can open the eyes and close the eyes, right? But some stuffs are like, a, for example, if you are deciding like if something is falling on your eyes, we have a special system to close the eyes. Even if you decided to open the eye, it's just a reflex action. It's going to close the eyes. Similarly, in our body, we have special system to regulate. But can you imagine breathing? You cannot, like you are not the one. Even if you sleep, uh, this is un uncontrolled, right? The reason is you are not controlling. Reason is you cannot decide one day thinking, oh, I am going to die by stop breathing. You know, no brain. If the brain has to work, brain needed oxygen. So that is the reason like a, little bit couple of minutes of blocking oxygen to certain part of the brain specifically it can damage it right if it is permanent damage like that means you shut down it's like you you have a strike or a war in a country you are not delivering any petrol or food or anything the people will suffer right similarly but in the brain neurons they cannot survive, they cannot work more than a couple of minutes without oxygen. So now will die. If it dies, unlike in liver, our liver, we are actually like um, working, you know, we just live our life. We as a baby or we born and we just eat, eat and eat. That's all we do, right? Poor liver is going to like do all the dirty job, right? Whatever we eat, Liver has to monitor and control everything, poor hepatocytes. Anyway, so those things. So that's why liver has an ability to regenerate. That's the reason people who just, who eat, like drink uh, alcohol, those are the people getting into trouble. And if you have too much uh, cholesterol, like fat, if you eat too much fatty food, people can get non-alcoholic fatty liver, right? We, I will mention that later. So similarly, liver cells can multiply, but our brain cell cannot multiply, you know, like a, that's a neuron. Maybe we will talk about those things some other time. Anyway, keep in mind. So if you block your blood vessels, uh, like in the brain, it's, it can damage your uh, brain cells. And that's how people can get the, how, how is it blocking? 
because of their cholesterol. The cholesterol when we eat fatty food or like eat too much carbs and if we eat more food, that's all. When we eat more food, the blood is filled with this cholesterol. So body produce LDL. So that LDL is too much in the body. So that's why body is trying to like, a, you know, trying to store it in the liver and you know, you need to use it. But this uh, 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 fat can, sorry, the LDL can block your brain blood vessels. That is why people can get stroke, right? So similarly, the big deal people always talk about stroke is, oh, okay, it's unpredictable. Similarly, heart attack, what is it happening? Same thing, right? Cholesterol is going to, because heart is the pump. Like I talk about breathing, right? You cannot control your heartbeat. You cannot, can you just stop your heartbeat for a minute, for a second? Can you try? Okay, one, two, three, can you? No, you cannot, right? So that means, okay, I wanted to stop and tell you this story, right? Can you see that? So in the store, if you buy a pomegranate, and a, um, I thought one pomegranate is in this box, right? This is $2, but I bought the pomegranate, that is $2, right? So actually, when you get the, in this, go to the store, you get like maybe this much pomegranate. And see how much I got it for if you buy one pomegranate separately so yeah so if you if you are i know we don't want to spill it because it's a mess here i'm sure once i finish everything uh this is going to be a mess if you don't have time we end up in buying that but if you have time i advise you to buy this pomegranate and do it yourself and keep it in the refrigerator for a week and you can eat a little bit little bit you know maybe i don't know i have to measure and see that uh, about 200 gram maybe like in three by fourth or something right about this one you don't need to eat this all thing because it's saying like see net weight is 227 when i bought this i had only three three by fourth of pomegranate so i'm going to talk about some studies that studies show solely like that means maybe half a pomegranate is good for a day for like a you do long time that will be very healthy so this time i wanted to tell you like see one pomegranate has like a lot right anyway so i was talking about the cholesterol so ldl can block the uh, heart okay so heart muscles they have to continuously beat right that's that's what like that's another thing brain will live brain is really super so like important that's the reason that has continuous blood supply is necessary but heart same thing if you think about heart has to beat continuously therefore you need a continuous blood supply to the heart muscles right but the problem is if we have this ldl high fluffy cholesterol floating in our blood it's going to actually block your blood vessels in the heart heart muscles because heart is pumping for pumping you are going to deliver food right because it's like uh, you have a cook in the hotel but when they are hungry they are going to eat too similarly blood is pumped by the heart muscles but heart needed uh, uh, blood sorry heart needed the um, what is it uh, oxygen and the blood right but the problem is if you have too much cholesterol ldl the problem is ldl fluffy fluffy ldl fluffy can block all your uh, Oh, cardiac uh, coronary arteries that's what it's called right so uh, blood vessel which is it's that little blood vessels which is supply blood to the uh, heart so this can block that's why people can get the um, heart attack like it it may be blocked like some people walk with multiple blocks and still they leave but some of them one example is one of the blood vessel is called widow maker why do they call the, like a Cardiologists call them as a widow maker because the husband, men, men get that condition and uh, wife become widow because the guy died and the wife become widow. Why? Because it is called an anterior, you don't want to know all the descending artery, one of the arteries which uh, supply blood to the one part of the heart is very important for us. If it is blocked, we our heart can cannot work 
So once that completely blocked, that's the time heart will not get uh, get to work. If your heart stops, your brain cannot get oxygen. Can remember I was talking about brain need oxygen, right? So um, that's the reason uh, you need to make sure. Like a, that's the reason doctors will say that okay, you have high LDL. This fluffy cholesterol is too much. It is normally good for your body. Like I said, it is not a toxin. Of course not. It is a part of your body. Body synthesizing because body need it. Why body synthesize too much? Because you ate too much food. That is the truth. We ate too much food. Or I ate too much food. So what do body do? They have to make something, right? So that's what happened, okay? Oh, anyway, so this LDL. So this study is showing LDL in patients will be reduced. What is the study showing? Like uh, they did a, a year of um, a, an year. So these patients took 100 cc uh, pomegranate juice. Okay, so keep in mind most of the studies available in this um, and a, like all these published papers, if you go to PubMed or even if you Google, you can find stuff, you know. So anyway, so always keep in mind that some of the like articles, okay, they just wanted to make business or sometimes they make some of the articles or newsletters. They might not do much research or they don't go and read all the scientific uh, journals to because that's so much time, time consuming you know what i'm saying like each paper is like i don't know uh total 30 pages with another uh, 200 or 100 references so if you read all those with the cross reference and stuff it take like hours to get certain information so that's the reason some of the newspaper articles, those kind of things, we will not, like scientists and doctors will not follow very well reason. They don't have time. They have to publish some news. That's what their job, right? So they just read something and or ask somebody and they get a quick answer and publish. So when you read those things, that's the reason people talk about don't Google and treat or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway... So keep in mind, when you read, you may see things like that. But if you go to real scientific articles, you will see these studies. Okay. One of the studies, this is done in, um, not in United States, this paper. Of course, uh, many, many countries doing this. This is in Isra Israel. Israel. Uh, okay. These people took pomegranate juice three times a week for one year. And it shows a reduced blood pressure, LDL and triglycerides, okay? So, outcome were more prominent in patients with a hypercholesteremia and, what did I write? Hyper, um, hypertension, okay? So, this study shows both blood pressure or uh, also hypercholesteremia, that is, high cholesterol people, whoever took this pomegranate has like a positive effect, but they compared with a normal healthy person like a, me and like somebody else, like a, maybe whoever listening this. Uh, of course, don't think that it is not beneficial to healthy people. Of course, it is. it has tons of benefits, but uh, uh, the people who took uh, healthy, whoever take this, their control studies, that was not actually like this is placebo controlled study. So that's the reason we can trust this study, clinical trial, clinical uh, studies. So those people didn't show much change in their body or normal blood pressure because we have like normal healthy blood pressure regulating system in our body. And same thing, cholesterol. We are healthy enough and we didn't mess up enough to damage things. Does that make sense? But the people who have problem. That fixed really well. That means this fruit has something in it. Does that make sense? I'm going to mention, uh, rep, um, explain all those uh, in a little bit. Okay. So, um, well, I, I wanted to, before we, uh, this is just starting, okay. If you don't have time, please save it and come back and watch later, okay. So, uh, I wanted to mention that. Why, okay, this is one of the studies with this uh, pomegranate juice, right? You may be asking me why don't people 
there is not much long term studies available and why are they not doing they are not uh, they are doing only the uh, pomegranate powder or pomegranate um uh, tablets right tablets like a medication like kind of thing there is a reason for that okay these works are done by drug company what is their benefit they wanted to make business okay so that's a truth even if the drug company guy is watching this that's a truth right i i have to be honest so so they have to make money so what do they do they pay a lot of money and they have a lot of smart researchers and they test that so what do they do they take the pomegranate mm, fruit and just crush it and dry it make it powder or paste or like a mm, or tablets little tablet and sell it so they take they give this to cholesterol and diabetic patients and patients with a high blood pressure and study that right they have money so they have uh, a group of patients they can do it but you may be asking like why not of you just give the fruit right no the problem is this drug companies they wanted to make money if they are uh, giving fruit juice or this pomegranate fruit for a clinical trial they cannot make money because what do you do you will go to the store and buy a pomegranate and eat isn't it so we are not going to buy their tablet so that is the reason if you see when you read you see many of the articles are uh, about the pomegranate um, what do you say like a not the uh, fruit but okay of course there are some uh, juice studies are there but many of the studies are with the tablets or uh, some other like a powder those kind of things right but if you really use your brain the all these antioxidants or whatever in it like i'm going to uh, mention the all those things in um, in little bit so all these will be got not all many stuffs are gone when you process is that, is that make sense it's a simple science to understand you know so many of them like for example if you talk about water soluble vitamins right they, they cannot be they uh, like a store it's like gone once the water is gone like everything will be similarly there is a lot of nutrients in it those so those will be gone in that tablet form so that is the reason i i am advocating uh, if you have that money like i uh, you know i heard some people talk about like a day you just need to pay a dollar because you can buy it for one dollar i don't know about that because i bought this last like two weeks a week back from walmart that was two dollars right i don't think we get pomegranate if you are if you get it it's luck you are lucky enough to get it and also every people cannot afford eating like a everyday pomegranate for like one year you can test you know like if you are eating junk food like or drinking cola like some people do like a starbucks coffee right i i don't it's it's tasty i i'm telling you i admit that but that that costs money right but um if you thinking that like okay take that money and cut couple of starbucks coffee and buy pomegranate you know what i'm saying so find money or like if you drink just cola just drink water water that's what important for your body right you don't need cola stuffs in your body like a water is fun is cheap enough similarly do something like that and find money to you know um buy pomegranate and try it i believe it would it would be very more beneficial than i am sure some day they are going to figure it out that uh, like a, a pomegranate tablet with a you know tons of benefits and a, um so you can just buy and eat if you are too lazy to open this pomegranate okay so anyway so let's talk about the real stories if we just go on and on and on you will not be i will not be finishing in one or two hours i'm sure about it so let's let's talk about i'll make more videos to talk about all those details okay so yeah this clinical study shows a week a year okay so uh another study it helps in arthritis patients with arthritis and menopause okay menopause symptoms okay if you talk about menopause uh some people 
uh, like a, you know, we used to say that like in, in 50, 55, like it depends. Like now we live in a, like in women, uh, unlike old days, like of course they used to work hard, you know, they were always cooking and doing things like that, a lot of work. But if you really think about it, now women have too much stress, isn't it? Like for everything, it's like really stressful life and our food habit changed so many reasons so that's why like sometimes people get into menopause like a early 45 or something like that so it depends right so anyway we will talk all those some other time but keep in mind this one of the or not not one multiple studies show that if a woman with uh, undergoing premenopausal symptom like a 40s women in 40s or even during the menopause time if they are taking so this study, one of the studies, they took one year and shows uh, some uh, like a hot flash and all like a less menopause symptoms. Does that make sense? And uh, another study related to women because we were talking about menopause. I think I should mention that now. So women with the polycystic ovarian syndrome, they there is studies like that. They took this winner. So that means. We, sh we can easily try this, you know, eat every, uh, like, of course, I will advise if you are like, really planning something, it is always healthy to, if you don't have that much medical background and all, it is good to adv get advice from your physician. Please do so. Otherwise, if you are healthy without any uh, medical condition, you can just, uh, you know, instead of buying uh, and eating from the Starbucks or I don't know I'm not specifically picking that but I don't remember what are the stuffs you eat you know like I don't know cola or cheesecake or whatever you just buy this one and include this in your diet that is going to change your life I'm telling you okay so because there is tons of evidence that's the reason okay clinical trial also done some of the for example i made another video i think i should reshoot that video it's so noisy because i was cutting that bit uh, bitter melon bitter melon means like a, a like a bitter fruit is, is that make sense so that bitter melon um is uh, has a lot uh, a, a lot of studies showing that it is uh, it has a beneficial role in patients who are uh, ha having uh, type 2 diabetes right so same thing if the patient is I told that uh, I mentioned that in the previous video if you just like trying to drink a like a one big bottle of bitter melon juice that's not how you're supposed to do you know you need to chew and eat slowly and also same thing like you know uh, if you have teeth just eat it instead of drinking you know like those things like similarly anyway why i was talking about these things um about the uh i think i missed it <laughs> sorry about that okay so that uh, uh there are uh positive benefic beneficial role of bitter melon in the uh patients who has high blood sugar of course this also has some role in the patients with the diabetes because most of the studies done most some maybe many i have to look at very carefully many studies done with a pomegranate uh, juice and all and also with the tablets uh, uh, they are in patients who have diabetes and diabetes and uh, high cholesterol so similarly bitter melon has beneficial role in diabetes but compared to any other diseases like uh, compared to pomegranate that one is specifically indicated diabetics because even the NIH uh, published articles are also supporting that so I I believe in that is very beneficial not like you know you just can you eat bitter melon raw I, uh, I'm not sure it would be good if you can that is the best way like I always advise just to chew and eat it if it is a medicine, you can do it, you know. But if you are taking medication, you need to consult your doctor before you do anything. Okay. So this one for the uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, there are studies. Then there are studies with uh, patients with a heavy menstruation. It is, uh, it showed that studies indicated that patients with a heavy menstruation, uh, with, with the many reasons, right? 
they also get a control like a some changes and i i didn't get time to read all this all the article in detail that is the reason i am not going to explain those in detail because i didn't read much i i some day if anybody need that i can make a video anyway then non alcoholic fatty liver disease if a patient like i said earlier if we are eating a lot of a lot of cholesterol and fat body don't know what to do because body don't want it right our cells will be thinking like what is she thinking what is he thinking i i need only two molecules you are sending thousand right we eat a lot right so body have so much extra stuff so the liver is trying to end up in accumulating in the liver you know because if it is too much in the blood it has to go somewhere right so you can get fatty liver non alcoholic you didn't drink alcohol but you have fatty liver reason oh poor thing you ate too much that's a reason i, I have to be honest with you that's a truth you know so we can if we really think we can change things you know so that's what i'm talking about anyway so this study shows non alcoholic fatty liver disease the like these are different different studies okay they have benefit and in male uh women we discuss about menopause the heavy menstruation polycystic ovarian syndrome and one more i will discuss later in breast cancer okay because there is some molecules elagitanin and all kind of things okay so in men with a low sperm count that is how uh, that the article is out like a uh, patients with a low sperm count this is helpful and also it is uh, proven uh, some of the clinical studies indicating the effect of beneficial effect in patients with a um uh, patients with a uh, i think it is prostate cancer prostate cancer okay so that is about men it is very beneficial of course all, both men and women it is very helpful but i i will mention that later sometime but it is for the pregnancy it is some contraindications that means it, you cannot just go and eat bunch of fruit one day no moderation is good unlike uh, bitter melon this is not like contraindication or anything you can eat it of course but not like too much everything moderate is good for you and what else they increase the sperm count okay uh, they tried some studies tried in patients with the erectile dysfunction it there was progress in that and uh, some of the gi disorders of course i we will talk about that later skin disorder uh, i actually uh, that study is uh, skin related is two to three times up to a month okay so they did the sorry two to three times a week uh, people eat and uh, up to a month oh that's a very short one you know what i'm saying that is very short study but still skin shows progress of course skin has two parts like one is you eat this pomegranate uh, fruit as uh, like a like this or the skin right uh, the the skin like i'm talking about our skin has beneficial effect on this with the this skin that's why people talk, make you know creams and the powder you this is that's what i am not i am planning today uh, usually i throw the pomegranate uh, peel the skin out in the trash but today i am planning to just save it and dry it you just uh, after i don't know in the sunlight you need to dry it for a or keep it in the room dry it for a week or uh, two weeks or something and uh, use a um a uh, gr uh, mixer grinder and uh, dry as a powder and then you mix with a um i think a milk or i am telling i am assuming it may work because i didn't read what they used it used it for but i assume it you can mix with a honey or uh like a curd or what is it called yogurt or milk and just mix it and put it in your face it may be helpful i am telling you that's what i am assuming okay because it is good for skin because it has a lot of a uh, lot of minerals here but people don't advise to eat this because it is it has a lot of tannic acid and all it can uh, hurt your body i will talk about that later in some some place like uh, after some time because the uh, romans used to uh, boil this skin and they used to eat this for 
tapeworm infection. I didn't see much like I couldn't get time to look at a lot of uh, studies for uh, especially tapeworm or is it good for worm? I didn't look at it, a recent study. But when I was reading, I saw that Romans used to uh, eat this, uh, sorry, uh, boil the skin and uh, drink it for tapeworm infection. Maybe it worked because it is a magic fruit. It is called the fruit of the heavens, right? So fruit of the gods. So I'll talk about that story also in a little bit. Anyway, so there is tons of studies. Uh, so the skin don't eat the skin and there is a membrane between them right in between this pomegranate seed there is a membrane that's also people don't don't advise to eat i am not sure what is the reason they are explaining this one i know because it's a lot of tannic acid and it's like little strong for your body so if you eat every day a bundle of that it can damage your body does that make sense that is the reason um and the membrane can may be irritating your uh, belly. That may be the reason. Okay, the, so uh, the studies shows that it can be very beneficial for your skin disorders. Then what is it? St uh, stroke patients with a, some studies shows that clinical studies actually patients were, who had stroke or hypercholesteremia uh, shows positive impact on uh, using this fruit and yeah so okay so if you are interested in what is in it you can look at it but i'll, I'll tell you what it is in what is in it okay so uh, and uh, like a uh, it has a lot of polyphenols then folate folate means folic acid it's a vitamin okay and vitamin k is there i think that may be the reason i saw when i was reading it mentions that uh, patients who are taking uh, blood pressure medication uh, and um, who are taking statin that is like for the blood pressure warfarin and uh, for cholesterol if you are already taking statin you cannot just eat this bunch of that like without consulting your doctor because it can interfere. I'll tell you what I'm assuming. I have to do more research, but I'm assuming uh, this has enough vitamin K in it. Okay, this uh, this seeds have a lot of vitamin K. Vitamin K actually uh, important for your blood clot, right? Why are you taking warfarin to avoid blood clot? We don't want blood clot, but that means like it can block your blood vessels in the brain and heart and you can get a heart attack or you can get a, a stroke or something to prevent right uh, of course in, uh, like a pulmonary embolism anything to prevent that doctor is giving you uh, warfarin right that means if i don't have a blood clot or anything if i am not taking warfarin my blood will clot if i get a little wound here it will clot in a minute suppose suppose i'm going to tell you those that's, you don't want to know the details, but if you are don't know those things, it is very simple to understand. Uh, I get one minute to clot, but when you take this little drug called warfarin, it's going to go to the body and uh, block, you know, block the synthesis of clotting factors. That's what it's called. So it is not completely blocking everything. Everything, if you block, we're going to bleed and die. That's why doctor will give you a specific tablet. So this is one of the like a deadly, like a life threatening, like you can get really bad adverse effect. One of the drug uh, that is the uh, ad, uh, warfarin. If you don't uh, like, if you don't take the right dose, that is the reason you have to be very careful about that. Okay, we will talk about that that story some other time. But keep in mind. So warfarin works by inhibiting that vitamin K, right? But this fruit has a lot of vit vitamin K. Keep in mind, another fruit, if you are asking me like, oh, what is the fruit with the tons of vitamin K? This is not the, like a fruit with the, like a large amount of, no. But this fruit also has vitamin K. So if you are already blocking, taking warfarin and blocking vitamin K, and if you are adding this one, it can mess up that number. Does that make sense? Like people who take warfarin will take, have, have to have about two to three minutes of clotting time. You know what I'm saying? If I have number one, you, are, you will take little more. The reason is 
we do, you don't want to get too much fast clotting that's why you your doctor gave you that medication but if your warfarin is too much in your blood you can get intestinal bleeding and all the problems right complication also that's dangerous especially if it bleed in the brain that's really dangerous oh also if somebody get into an accident or something uh, it's it's complicated we don't want to talk about all those details but let's talk about this one so maybe that's why if you're already taking warfarin i am assuming the vitamin k interference will be there that may be one of the reason and of course you, you can read and know all the details but another point is about the oh this is not that bad sorry go on. there's a fungus or something how come okay so i need to wash this usually i don't prefer, prefer to wash if it is good good one with a well protected without any damage or anything i prefer to eat without washing because i don't want to lose any you know minerals or water soluble vitamins so i prefer to eat without washing but this one i saw like in little bit of fungus or something maybe it fall, fell down somewhere and it's had a break or something so i need to wash this part okay yeah. so that's warfarin and if you're patient taking warfarin and eating this one that's why you have to consult your doctor same about cholesterol statins right that is not actually vitamin k uh, it is vitamin like it's called niacin uh, maybe some of you already taking the medication it's like a vitamin b3 okay that's a different vitamin so this vitamin um, uh, has a role in regulating cholesterol right so if you are taking already statin and taking of course like i think passion fruit is the fruit with a lot of niacin so you don't have to worry about that much but if you just like eating this like a two or three every day for a month or something you may get a big difference right so that's the reason i want you to be careful if you are taking any medication when you try this type of fruits okay um what else what also okay it has vitamin k we discussed it has a lot of pota potas potassium that's very good for your body for folate is good that's a reason like pregnant women moderate consumption is good like you know usually they take folic acid so then um, what else membrane is not edible i already mentioned that uh, each arrel with a seed inside right that's the reason i was talking about you need to chew and eat because it has a lot of uh like a fibers and all it will be very good for your gut microflora mm, so uh, you are you know if you just do eat processed food what do we what do it will, will happen that means in in our intestine that is in our large intestine we have like millions or billions of little bacteria They're, those are our friends right those are the good bacteria these are the ones helping us to absorb uh, cholesterol and all you know sorry uh, vitamin k absorption and all you know so therefore we have a lot of good bacteria there you need to feed them too right whatever we eat that's what they are sharing but if you are just eating some like you know processed candy or something every day those bacteria cannot survive is that make sense people can get into sick how because the belly bacteria is not there so that's why people talk about probiotics and stuff right oh i think this is a good probiotic that's it this is it it has because those bacteria love to have this uh, nutrients uh, sorry the uh, components from this and also from the seed seed is also you may see i i'll talk about some of these studies shows the uh, uh, this uh, bitmelon seed um, but melon seed uh, oil studies right clinical trials and uh, with a uh, vitamin oil sorry not bitmelon what am i talking about pomegranate i don't know because i was just preparing that video before that's why it is missing with me okay so pomegranate seed oil they did not bitmelon i don't think anybody can eat bitmelon seed because that i don't know it's not edible i believe anyway so this pomegranate seed is edible but only thing is i was talking about diarrhea make sure you don't get a diarrhea or something if you are really healthy don't drink it if you have teeth just chew it just bite and just eat it like a 
snack or something. Does it make sense? Okay. Huh, let's see. So sweet but tart taste one, right? So we don't. But so it's all. Um, okay, so now we will move to the story part, right? Why is it called the fruit of the gods? That's what I have to mention. Then, um, okay, this is actually, well, let's good move to the story part. It's going to be interesting. If you're very busy, maybe pause uh, and w start watching from the mid half of the video, okay? The rest of the video, but this is going to be, why is it called the fruit of the gods? Like a, whatever I know. Oh my God, it is a mess here actually. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh -huh. And um, why is it called fruit of the, okay. So it's actually originated in like a different, uh, it was in the Middle East and Persia and India. Those were the countries first, well, like, a, you know, when the history shows that they, this was a lot there in that area. And uh, I was thinking fruit of Persia is actually dates, you know, uh, you know, the date palms. But I don't think so. It is considered as the, I <laughs> uh, know, some, some articles say like a fruit of Persia. I don't believe so, but, you know. So it, uh, because they use a lot now also, that, that's a reason. And it grows there, okay? It's it's true that it is starting from that Middle East area to Iran and uh, up to Jordan, like I think in Euro, Euro, Turkey, all those area, they have a lot of pomegranate fruit, okay? Still there. And, um, and the pomegranate seed has a lot of uh, carbs and minerals. So um, therefore, uh, we, I may mention that in a later session, but uh, in people, even in the uh, oh, old and, oh, oh, sorry, the, in history shows that like uh, people used to take this to fast the, uh, sorry, break the fast. If people are fasting, a couple of, I don't know, days, if they have to break the fast, this is a good, good thing. Why, why do you think that is good? Okay, I'll tell you. Because I told you, this has a lot of minerals and it's rich in minerals and vitamins, right? So therefore, uh, why, uh, like normally when you are not eating food, when you are fasting, our body is actually taking, a, cells are actually like, you know, cells are actually relaxing, you know. You should try, you should try fasting once in a while. Because if you are taking medication and all, you have to be uh, be careful. But otherwise, if you are a child, like if you have kids at home, you need to train them to fast. I'll tell you the reason, okay? So this is, here is the story. So every day we eat a lot, right? Like I said before, we may sometimes eat food for a week in one day. We are not going to stop eating in a day. Of course, if you eat on Sunday, we're going to eat on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Again, we are going to re-eat every day. Not even one time, right? We eat morning, lunch, dinner. Is that so? So that three times, like every every day we are eating. So that means, like I said, in our body, if the cells need only like two of the molecules, like some mineral, whatever, right? Like a vitamins or whatever, uh, like maybe cholesterol. Let's talk about that one. If we need, they need cells need only the, the two molecules. And you are providing thousand molecule, right? The body is actually overwhelmed, right? Your blood is actually like a cells are thinking like, what is it? It's like, a, it's like a heavy traffic in Manhattan or like in, I don't know, in uh, Mumbai or Paris or wherever, right? In the heavy Los Angeles, if, if it is a heavy traffic in China, like some of the cities. So Beijing, so... If you have a very heavy traffic in the road, you cannot do anything, right? Like if you, what about at the midnight, if you, after early morning, like two in the morning, there is not much traffic. Everything, if there is a, people have to work in the road, road workers, they can work in the road very calmly without any problem, right? Because there is not much traffic. Similarly, our body feel that if you eat a lot, a lot, like a big portion, our body cells will be overwhelmed, right? They will think like, oh my God, it's like so crazy. What is it going on, right? So, but the thing is, if you take a fasting, like think about like I'm eating every day for a month, 
and once in a month if i am fasting so of course it is so hard for first timers try it it's going to work okay it's very good for your body uh, first time like i don't know maybe 6 to 12 hours or 24 hours you get a headache that's a normal thing because brain brain thing like what is going on i'm not getting enough oxygen like sorry not oxygen they are breathing uh, not oh, oh, enough uh, glucose and uh, lipid and you know like enough food uh, triglycer oh, sorry whatever uh, i'm i'm trying to simplify it. like not in not enough food that's what the brain complain right like other things like because every day you were doing something and it stopped so the body don't like it but the real story is if you can withstand that okay you drink some water or like i don't know coconut water or something like and then you can withstand that you will be used to you will make your body to used to be that that like okay it's okay not to eat for like it's okay uh, not to see glucose and uh, all these all around every time like so the body will be used to so these cells will be feeling very like they actually it's like a busy street if even if you have a broken road or pipe there they could they cannot fix it because it is traffic all the time you cannot block the road right but what if you get like a break like a holiday and if there is a middle of the night they people can go and work similarly when you stop eating some things will not work whatever broken like a broken pipe whatever like if every day you are doing so the body don't have time body don't have that body cannot do it because you you are constantly adding food into the body and it's like starting it's morning to like midnight on night every time it's digesting and doing things right so body cannot fix certain things those are the broken things body can fix when a person fast so if you do it once in a month it is very good for a, once in a month like not like 24 hour like i did like a i can but i don't do every time of course it's not that easy you know you need to have like a lot of determination right for me it will be i did like a three days fasting um like once in six months you can do it but the problem i'll tell you like a you cannot just start doing like that uh, how i did is i don't i can survive without eating breakfast okay i can go without any problem until 12 like noon or after 2 p.m i'll be fine as long as i can eat after that i'll be fine because i didn't i just drink water at morning um, wake up and drink it because i don't have time to make breakfast i would love to sit there and drink coffee and i eat something you know uh, croissant or something like that i love that that will be my luxurious uh, day but i might not get like a, also in my thoughts you know i can find time to make it but in my mind that's kind of like it's going to add more calorie because the food that we eat has a lot of calories so if you add it more and more it's going it's not good for your body so i don't do that every time once in a while i'll do that but similarly what i said is i can survive without eating food for up to like you know half a day without eating breakfast so it was easy for me to fast uh, i what i did is i tried to eat once a day like at around 5 30 i will eat and then how i started doing that is then i tried to did eat nothing for all day and of course always doctors and everybody it's a wise thing to do if you are fasting you're supposed to drink a lot of water a reason like you said your body cells are so tired like you know they are doing a lot of patchwork if you're doing that fasting right during fasting body try to do a lot of patchworks whatever messing up body get like it's not too much ldl not too much glucose floating around so body can do a lot of other things i i don't i won't be able to explain that details now in future video i can make make something so your uh, body can actually uh, do all the other things and so they produce a lot of trash right like they because you were fasting body was doing all this so you start building up certain bad things so you need water to flush it off it's like uh, think about a 
classroom or a college or something, right? Like when you uh, all the students go home, they have to clean the place, right? They, if, if students are there, they cannot clean, right? You just clean everything. Like you go home, the, somebody comes at night and clean everything. Everything look fresh. Similarly, right? Our body is fasting. Our cells get time to clean. To clean it off, you need water. So, so that's the reason everybody talk about drink water because you need to remove everything into the urine. Just throw it out and flush it out. But you can do, like if people do, it's called dry fasting, like you don't drink water. I will not advise that, even though I did that, like for when I did like a, that, I had a very good experience, I'll tell you, because uh, actually, because we eat every day, our body is actually controlled by our digestive system, you know, literally like everything, we eat morning to evening, like every day, throughout the years, from childhood, we are trained to eat, right? So always working, the digestive system is always, we are not giving any break to that organ. So that means we are controlled by our digestive system. So the brain is busy, brain always think that, yep, food is coming or we are living to eat. So we need to make sure digestion is properly happening. So when I used to go to school and college, like I don't eat breakfast, I just run. I just, maybe that's good for me that time, I don't know. Maybe I'll think that maybe my body don't want to spend that energy to digest instead of course you need food i'm just making an excuse anyway instead i can use that energy to brain like of course brain need a lot of oxygen so that's not an excuse so i think i'm wrong there okay so anyway so if you take a break uh, for doing fasting you know you should drink but I did, didn't did drink, I tried, you know, I wanted to try because everybody talk about, oh, it's very beneficial. So I wanted to see how different it is. So what I did is I tried without drinking water. I'm telling you, after 24 hours, of course, I got headache also. And after 24 hours, the one thing is like your uh, mouth, when you talk, you will be like, like that sticky noise, right? you will get like sticky noise if you are trying to talk over the phone or something you can you can hear you your uh, saliva is so dry and uh, now i know after that i know that like sometimes if you listen to some like a, if you are in case like if you happen to hear some like a famous or some speakers or uh, what do you call like a spiritual people right like a sermon or something and sometimes their mic, you can see like a sticky noise, right? Because they may be fasting. That's what I'm assuming because I had the same experience. That's why. Anyway, after 24 hours, about 48 hours, like maybe the second day, um, I I had to drink what I'll tell you this. Right? I could have do that without doing because I have one of my friends, like he's a physician, okay? So this, uh, this dog, uh, like a dog, and he, he was keep telling me, Oh, you cannot, please don't do that. You cannot stop drinking water. You have to drink water because they are so much worried about me, right? Because if you really think about the physiology, I was telling you, you should drink water while you fast because you need to clear it up, right? But if you stop drinking, the problem is like then you have, you are giving break to some more organs, right? Less water. And, I don't know, is that the reason? I think your brain has more time to think about it. I have no idea. There is some changes. You feel everything. Your brain feel very energetic. I may need to do more studies on that. Your brain start thinking in a different way. I'm telling you, if you, especially if you're a busy person, you will see the difference. And, oh my God, the water, water was tasting like I never experienced in my life how significant people talk about water is like you know you can enjoy water of course i always drink water but still i never enjoyed water that much right that is the first time i felt water is everything everything every drop of it when i drank that in the second day night oh my god water was like heaven you can taste water you should try that. Oh my God, it is so good. If you have any diseases, please don't try it, okay? Like, but 
if you are really healthy and if, if you are that train the children so you can start training like that maybe a day or something that's healthy you know third day some people can get disease and you know heart attack and all because the heart is already in trouble you are giving pressure to the body so that's the reason people can die with the, all these risky practices so that's why I, I will never advise to do that uh, if you have some medical condition and also if you don't know you have to do a like you know i don't know whether you know in my work like i can get like uh, free yearly med medical checkup and all so if you have those kind of facility or go and do that before you you want to make sure to uh, your kidneys and like uh, liver all the organs are functioning well right for example remember i recently heard that one lady drank water and died right the reason is maybe the person don't know like whether the uh, kidneys are working right when we are normally sitting here i don't know whether my all my kidney cells are functional right we assume it is functioning because it is you know it has supposed to filter my blood and everything is okay but if it is damaged even people can live with the one kidney take more time to filter right so what if a person has really like that kidney also damaged those are the people get into trouble if they are not drinking water for more than like a day or something it's it's very dangerous that's a reason fasting can be dangerous for some people you know that is the reason nobody of course some physicians and like some scientists like they talk about fasting but not everybody talk about that or not everybody suggest to do that okay and let's uh, talk about the yeah fasting boy what i'm saying is like okay so that's where we were talking all these stories anyway pomegranate seeds are good for breaking the fast how when you fast uh, you are uh, run, depleting all the minerals and the vitamins right like because whatever store in your fat those are the things you are using right you cannot store certain things uh, like uh, minerals and vitamins in your body it's used up you you cleared everything from the blood if you are doing fasting two days or like you know, maybe a religious purpose or something like that so if you break the fast this is even in the bible and the torah and uh, all these Qur i think i don't know whether quran has that all these old uh, like a uh, history also uh, historians also uh, mentioned that like some of the uh, books suggested that it is good to break fasting why because it is rich with the minerals and all okay okay so then about eating the fruit like i said earlier if you have teeth you better chew and eat it please don't drink it you know that's just i don't know that is lazy i would love to drink fruit juice if somebody make it for me or once in a while that is a luxury once in three months if somebody make it or I can make it or you can buy and drink it but not every day that's not a good practice you need to get that um, like a seed and that seed has a husk what is it called it's called a brand not brand what do you call the seed caught right those are good for your uh, stomach intestine so you need to chew and eat don't drink it please don't drink it i don't advise that if you if you don't have teeth i will advise you to do that juice otherwise not okay okay why people considered as a fertility abundance and all because it has multiple seeds right maybe that's a reason and also see that color is the people talk about this color is actually like a um a scarlet colored right so um okay so about color like these colors are i don't know whether it is rare the scarlet specifically scarlet color is rare rare like when you talk about scarlet color i remember um i don't know whether you read this uh book it's very beautiful i really loved it you know so i always wanted to um I was like, he was my hero, kind of. Like, there is a, a novel called Scarlet Pimpernel, right? That's a French Revolution story. It is a movie is available, but I don't know about movies that beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's okay. They didn't make a, a good movie at all yet. 
maybe someday somebody has to make it this uh, book is really good like this his anyway there is a fruit sorry there is a flower in that called scarlet so the color scarlet it reminded me of scarlet pimpernel and yeah scarlet color so this is scarlet color like you said about like uh, uh, i was mentioned uh, going to tell you about the color some fruits are very rare colored because uh, in nature some colors are very rare like a like you know what is it like old days or royal uh, gowns wear in a specific color right because those are rare ink right like uh, i was i may uh, i was looking at the video so i posted one of the videos in my uh, youtube channel about the indigo mushroom right i was um, i i thought about that because i remember that indigo mushroom mushroom doesn't have that blue color indigo colored is very rare like blueberry has that but that indigo color is very rare in nature one of the rare things similarly like a um, this one is actually it's a rare it is like of course like a, you have grapes have that uh, that shade then uh, beetroots have that these are very rich in certain type of anthocyanins so these are called anthocyanins anthocyanins actually give the color that scarlet color to uh, this uh, a fruit okay then what else like this has a lot of hydrolyzable tannins allergy tannins ferulic acid or it is it gallic acid i don't know whether you know all those terms but you know these are some good stuffs okay i remember like reading somewhere it's about a resveratrol so that is actually in the red wine let's, i don't want to talk about wines or anything but let's talk about the grapefruit uh, sorry the grapes right grapes has a lot of black black grape has a lot of resveratrol and all those are very good these have a lot of uh, good things good stuffs okay and then let's talk about the stories you know i i like to say tell you stories i'm very good at stories so let's talk about that so why is it called uh, fruit of the gods one of the reason is um uh, based on these stories in uh, greek mythology right like of course there is like a tons of stories other stories also like a uh, uh, egyptian uh, mummies uh, when they take it out they see in like pomegranate and uh, they are uh, like pots with a pomegranate sh uh, shaped uh, carvings and all you know so egyptians used to use this pomegranate for different you know Uh, purposes people used to use it um, and also if you look at uh, watch certain movies like especially older egyptian movies if you look at it every time they will of course this uh, film crews will uh, do the research right so they will find uh, pomegranates from somewhere and put it there as a, in a on a bowl a big pomegranate will be like there at the side like in in the in, the, in a corner that will be in most of the movies they will put it you know if you look at it you will be surprised of course because it's just showing like they used to in a royal they consider this as a royal fruit so uh they used to use it in always in the palace not not the common people get to eat all those right old days so maybe all the people who work they will Uh, give this fruit as a gift or something that's what i'm assuming and uh, of course then um, you may see the uh, uh, other places like uh, in uh, shakespeare's uh, uh, nightingale on the uh, pomegranate tree those all all those mentionings uh, like in different books you may read like a uh, uh, homer's odyssey showing like a king's uh, palaces with a acres of uh, pomegranate uh, trees there then uh, herodotus is a greek historian and he uh, he mentioned that in the persia in the persian wars you will see the uh, the soldiers uh, note with the uh, the uh, uh, you know the spikes in their in their what do you call in their whatever they are carry they have like a, a pomegranate uh, at the tip of that spikes that's what they're saying something like that you know and they talk about the golden pomegranate all kind of things and like and you see like i said romans used to believe that it is good for the uh, tapeworm uh, treatment and all kind of things uh, this is 
uh, commonly known that uh, earlier okay but in the greek mythology that is an entirely different story okay so now we are talking about uh, underworld okay kings why this is considered as the fruit of god those kind of story let me pour this into this container so that i can make why it is considered as a um, fruit of the king or fruit of the god that those are the reason i'm going to mention about uh, i believe these are from the greek mythology and the bible torah all those stories are uh, there is a tons of things connected to okay the, let's talk about that one okay by cutting the next pomegranate okay and okay so you may heard about uh, this is a uh, pomegranate is considered as a fruit of the underworld okay uh, you may heard about the pomegranate trapped persephone in the underworld have you ever heard about that story i bet you heard about aphrodite right aphrodite is the goddess of love and fertility she was the actually she was the old reason hades to fall in love with this lady uh, the girl or lady called persephone right so here is the story okay so it's very interesting to know that there are like um actually persephone end up in eating like a couple of seeds from this and she end up in he she cannot escape from that there is a rule in underworld if you eat or drink from underworld you have you are destined to stay there you cannot escape <laughs> that's a big rule there right according to greek mythology so persephone already know that you she heard about like a legend so she doesn't know whether it is true or false maybe that's the one reason she didn't she refused to eat or drink from underworld okay so here is the story okay let's talk about it in greek mythology you may heard about zeus right okay let me make it very simple there are three kings in uh, three gods right gods in the greek mythology these are powerful gods right and they are they were three brothers okay these brothers um one is sky god uh that is actually the zeus i of course you heard about that then another one is a sea god and the uh third one is the sea of the uh, god of the underworld god of the underworld is called the um uh, hades you know hades is the god of the underworld so hades is actually a very lonely guy you know he was the god of the dead and he was happy like everybody likes him and uh, you know kind of made him uh, like a he was living a good life right but this aphrodite like of course everybody praise her beauty and all but hades never care about her right also she is uh, he is her uncle you know so i don't i don't know how it works but i heard i read somewhere remembering uh, aphrodite like uh, he doesn't even care about like he is like oh you are not my type so i don't even care so aphrodite made a trap and hades fall in love with this girl named persephone okay she was in the meadow collecting flowers okay so her mother is uh, demeter and anyway she was uh, she was very close to her mother and she was doing collecting flowers and uh, hades saw that i know it's like kind of creepy if you saw somebody who is like you have to sleep with that woman that is called i don't know that is not an arranged marriage that is called the rape or something you know that's that's really bad but this king fall in love with and he wanted to what he did is he kidnapped that <laughs> that girl okay he took her around the world and she just did it eat maybe weeks right she just he offered him food and all but no she didn't touch anything okay so she also remember the rule if you eat or drink from underworld you will be stuck there so she doesn't want to do that so she didn't 
but somehow okay her she was very close to her mother so her mother's name is demeter and she she came to know that i know how to how she came to know but we don't have time to talk about all the details so we are going to skip those part anyway she went and complained to zeus okay zeus is the god right so oh that guy took my her daughter bring you know i need my daughter she was like very oh zeus you know that so this is in control of everything right there is that is a uh, reason for that zeus will obey uh, hades will have obey zeus there is a reason for that but we will not talk about this now but some day but zeus ordered it's like a demanded right demanded hades to bring the girl back you know bring her back to earth right she uh, he like gave the really like give the order okay just bring bring her back okay so uh he actually uh, uh when he demanded uh, he wanted uh, so okay before that i have to tell you that story so i was telling about um she never drink drink or eat from there right it remind me another um novel i know i don't know whether i don't even read you know but i read certain things once in a while or when i get time and this is in my college days i read this like it is absolutely brilliant okay i i am sure you may have heard about or you can watch movie but i will advise you to read the novel first then read it uh, watch the movie the story is count of monte cristo okay this is my all time favorite story in the world because i will like oh everybody wanted to get a like a treasure <laughs> treasure and, and these kind of things like you know like a heroic comeback everybody love it right so maybe that's the psychology somehow i love love that character right i still remember i read that before in that count of monte cristo novel he has a policy count will never eat or drink with uh, his enemies or from his enemy's place right but in the movie uh, there are couple of movies available in on youtube i saw that it is free free I, oh i don't know maybe it is a 2002 movie it's they did a very good job you know it's very like it's really good especially the uh, satara is that satara in spanish the friend amigo amigo right oh those character played by like they picked the right candidate for that you know when i started watching i was still like okay this like count is not nah, i didn't i was not impressed with that count oh i'm telling you once it really start like in the midday things it is a movie you should watch i can watch like again and again and again that's one of the movies i will not worry to watch again anyway the novel has that they don't eat from the um uh, from the uh, enemy's place that's why they he never he didn't eat or drink but in the a uh, movie they created a situation where she he sit there with the dinner guest you know guest but they are not showing him eating or drinking they are not showing at all but you know i i think that's a different anyway so eating story that is a, that is a historical thing like in, in different novels and places you may heard about this story before you know people so similarly persephone didn't drink or uh, uh, eat okay so what zeus did is because uh, demeter was uh, like asking uh, there is multiple reasons zeus demanded him to bring her back what he did is he sent his he has a son named hermes so this hermes job is like you know he can access underworld he transport souls into underworld so once you travel from earth that's a true story if you think about now also if once you are done if you once you are dead you cannot come back on earth is that make sense so that is really a you know a big thing actually in the greek mythology also it is indicating like that you know 
so uh, hermes will go hermes is actually a very good deal maker okay he is like really good at it anyway so before hermes maybe on the way this hades actually tricked her to eat the persephone to eat a uh, pomegranate actually that means pomegranate is a fruit of the underworld also you know yeah it is so so he tricked her to eat some seeds of pomegranate i'm sure he gave like that she maybe started eating and luckily she didn't eat more than a lot no she ate enough you know so enough to trap her there so the rule is even if you eat one you will be stuck there so some some say i have to look at carefully some say like three man three um three seeds four seeds but okay let's talk about six okay according to greek mythology these um, uh, seasons are originated after this um after uh, their sorry after this story okay because persephone ate the ate the uh six seeds or four seeds of uh, pomegranate from underworld so hermes made a deal he is a deal maker he is very good you know his his has a, he has a smart father also right so he made a deal with the hades saying okay here is the deal you persephone will stay underworld for six months or four months and she, she must go back to hermes that is uh, on earth for other six months so according to greek mythology that's why you get winter when the um when persephone goes back to underworld the earth will be like Dem demeter is actually the uh, i think she is the queen of the or goddess of uh, crops so all the crops will die because she is not at all working she just will become a sad mood because she love her she, it's like she and her daughter were buddies you know so they were like really really cool friends like a cool people I, i don't i don't know what to say like okay because she like her daughter and they were like really close to each other anyway so why i am telling all the detail is okay you understood the pomegranate is in the underground sorry underworld fruit okay so the, if the hades is going to make her eat so there is something there in the spiritual meaning or something or there is this is the fruit those people are also eat anyway but there is it is associated with another story that's what i was mentioning this demeter she is she will be very sad right when the persephone when uh, go to earth for six months you know so in the greek mythology there is another place they were talking about pomegranates uh, i think pomegranate is the fruit they are talking about there so let me talk about that also because it's interesting that's why you know so there is a guy called tantalus tantalus okay he is a king right he is a he is a little god so everybody like him too he is a smart guy yeah and everybody he is cool with everybody but he has some problems you know one time um, he thought that you know he can invite everybody all the gods to dinner at his place right so you know if you think about zeus is going to come to dinner at your house what do you think you know so he was really excited you know he was planning for a long time like what do we do what do i do right what he did, did is according to his brain whatever to say he actually made a soup with his son i have no idea who do that okay don't ask me that part okay <laughs> so he made a made soup with his son <laughs> that is the tantalus guy <laughs> okay so he made soup and served to the dinner guests right so this persephone is persephone is mom i was talking about her right like a uh, demeter 
the meter you need to understand the girl is gone for underworld she is very sad because they are very buddies right so she was absent by minded and in the even even though she went to dinner she was absent minded as soon as they served she didn't use her you know power to look at it what what are they serving right these are gods right i bet they must know all this like what are they serving anyway if there is like a, if these greek mythology gods uh anyway so the demeter actually ate some part of the soup right she ate this much maybe and the zeus and other gods they figure it out oh wow what are you serving you know you are serving your son to us he uh, they tantalus have explanation right like oh you i i respect you i i value you guys that much that's why I'm... but greek mythology has a big rule right the rule is you cannot kill your family members that will be a big mess if you kill your family member like they will kill everybody you know they don't care but you don't kill your family member and you don't eat humans you know you are not cal- cannibal they are not cannibalistic so they don't eat their species so they got really really pissed off you know <laughs> and you know because they are god they bring the boy back to life and but the problem is she already ate a little bit part of her body his body you remember that so what happened is the boy came back to life but he lost his shoulder if you ever seen movies with a, a guy with a shoulder part that's a story anyway so these kings were like so angry with you know if you make the kings pissed off, like not kings gods right like they are really really mad at it oh there is a lot of history behind it because they, why they are so mad at him is one time these are other stories like maybe one more one more story before i finish okay so one time this uh the uh, this uh, tantalus went to a uh, dinner in uh, in other like a god's place right like a, he in a party dinner guest like he was a dinner guest and he actually stole and uh honey from them <laughs> you know what i'm saying who steal from the <laughs> dinner guest you know what i'm saying you're not supposed to steal if you inv- if somebody invite you in their house you better don't touch anything you leave everything as such that's a rule okay he actually so yeah or always like god's god like okay this is a uh, there is a black mark on him you know so what happened is he actually uh, got a punishment what the punishment is he has to go uh, uh, they actually tied him on the, in the underworld right they tied him like a, uh, how did they tie him like actually they tied him with a um, in in water and uh, um uh he he cannot uh the so he is in water they tied his arm on a tree this tree i believe that is a pomegranate tree actually i never thought that pomegranate is a tree, like that big big of a tree is it makes sense i thought like a very like a shrub like maybe a orange tree or something but this is a big tree story so i think that is the tree you can correct me if it is Uh, i'm wrong okay please i uh, i always accept corrections so you can come and there so this tantalus actually was tied in a pomegranate tree so for eternity right that's a punishment if you end up in an uh, underworld that's it you cannot escape right so the story like uh, what is saying is like he he is in water but he is very thirsty he can see water but he cannot drink because when he go down the water will like move away and the pomegranate has a lot of fruits there right he has fruit there but he cannot drink like eat the fruit at all so it's like this is what people talk about like hell and uh, you know underworld those kind of stuff oh no, i maybe i have to mention one more time so these two stories shows that these are fruit of the underworld 
but you, in greek mythology like paradise is in underworld and in the uh, unlike in of course in bible and the torah like a torah uh, what is it and the quran all those things paradise is there so paradise it says that like it is an underworld apart but after you know so things things are different and like if you go really in detail you will understand so souls will stay for a time period in one place when you die go to paradise area so that place also has fruit pomegranate pomegranate is a fruit of that place also you know what i'm saying anyway i was talking about underworld fruit then ancient roms they consider this as a, a summer fruit all these stories have that okay so let me finish before um, all the stories so that i can show you all the medical uh, clinical trials um, on pomegranate okay because i wanted to cut this also i know if you don't have time please come back later okay um i have to cut one more then i will explain to you all those okay so let's okay you got the uh, a little bit idea about what it is this fruit about right so okay let's talk about Bud buddhism right buddhist buddhist monks uh, okay so in buddhism they called uh, they consider pomegranate as a, one of the three um blessed fruits you know uh, the other two fruits are citrus and uh, mm, a peach you know and this is one of the fruits considered as blessed fruit and also in sri buddha you heard about sri buddha right of course buddhism that's a story so there is like a two stories uh, related to uh, his him and the pomegranate uh, because he's a, like a he was a, like a prince right you know all the story right if not i'll tell you some other time uh, anyway so this uh, prince uh, of course well, with the, uh, when the rich people like he has all these rich buddies right like all of course his friends are really really super cool like with a lot of money and many rich disciples also like later he, they come and give uh, give him like lavish gifts right that's that's normal for him right one day he got a gift from uh, like a very poor old woman she actually traveled from very far away right she came from like really really far away and gave uh, gave this um, buddha uh, this pomeg a small pomegranate fruit you know as soon as he received that uh, he you know he is a king like he is a big guy right so he uh, he you know thank her thanked her by uh, you know it's like ringing a bell you know what i'm saying like a um uh, rang the bell uh, in honor of her is that make sense so he rang uh, so he was always accompanied with this rich buddies right whenever they visit him wherever he goes they will go with him right so one of the uh, like a king asked him oh um, you know we gave you like really really precious gifts like golds and all like all these things and why didn't you rang bell for us and you rang bell for her is that make sense like uh, it's showing that how good character his his is you know that's the you know story behind it it's like he's a very cool guy he's very intelligent and smart and and he uh, he felt in like you know he's very um very what do you call not sensitive what do you call very wise right to distinguish that this that fruit is very precious because that woman maybe that's her dinner right or lunch or whatever she brought from far away and give her as a gift and he valued that very well okay so that is a very significant story to learn we need to learn these kind of things you know and and I, he was very delighted that's a story and another story says like a, he actually uh, gave uh, this fruit to one of the demons or near the name is uh, hariti or something like that and what happened is this demon i don't know uh, that story is kind of weird but 
this demon eat a baby every day <laughs> you know what i'm saying human so when pomegranate is given she stopped that bad habit is that make sense that means there is some magic in this fruit as soon as you eat that fruit you change your habit you know what i'm saying so that's related to that then another story like he gifted a pomegranate to one of the women like a old woman or something like that so there are multiple story in buddhism also in jainism like a uh, that's like the same like a lot of uh, like they use it in the palace in the garden all those stories like you know and they eat it for breaking the fasting and the judaism and also it is significant if you talk about judaism uh, they consider like it is uh, uh, they even in the bible old testament and uh, of course some part of the quran you will see that in Ju judaism uh, let's talk about that in seriously because that has like some really real good things are there right uh, the promised land um, was very famous for the that's what i heard like uh, this is a uh, the fruit of the pro promised land you know so that's what they believe and this tradition says pomegranate has 613 you know the problem is i already mixed all this fruit so you cannot count either i was planning to actually count this seeds i could uh, i was planning to just uh, put everything in a sp spread everything like this and uh, ask you guys to take a screenshot and uh, count it for me and if we have 613 seed okay i can i can future maybe after an year or so like we can send as a gift or something but it will not work because it's a mess here you know i mixed everything maybe some other time we will do it okay so i'm gonna do that anyway so jews believe that um the reason is they have about 600 and not about they, they have 613 commandments right so believe they believe that each each pomegranate fruit has like a 615 commandments. So they actually eat one seed at a time. I'm telling you that one seed at a time, they know something we don't know maybe, I don't know. But one seed at a time is good for your digestive system to function. If you eat very slowly, like a chew really well and swallow the seed, I told you seed oil also significant for health benefit is there so it is really healthy if you think about it so there is just the even though if it is if they are following if they are eating they are eating because they believe that they eat one seed at a time to because they need to get all blessing one by one they don't want to lose it you know so that's the reason they were mentioned but interestingly if you talk about like in the quran i think in the uh in uh islam belief like in the quran it mentioned that like um one one pomegranate has one seed from heaven each pomegranate that means like how many we cut today maybe four or five right so i get four four seeds coming from heaven Oh, wow. I got four blessings, right? So they believe in that way, right? Like anyway, so uh, long story short, everybody mentioning, everybody has some story talking about pomegranate. And, and of course, in uh, like a, both uh, in the Christianity and in the uh, uh, Judaism and the Greek mythology and even Hinduism, it is connected with the eternal life and death kind of you know what i'm saying like a fertility like in hindu mythology actually it is uh, a symbol of fertility and um, beauty but in uh, Christ christianism and uh, 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 our greek mythology is related to eternal life death those kind of things right i'll tell you what's the reason why i mention it in bible like it's a, like a, tons of times they meant like a lot of time they mention uh this not tons of time it's like i don't know maybe less than 50 times i don't know maybe more than 10 times okay i'll tell you two three times story okay so in bible actually um you know about the forbidden fruit right uh of course so Adam and Eve story, all those things, right? So the fruit that prompted Adam and Eve's expulsion from the Garden of Eden, of course, everybody talk about apple, right? But actually, 
some of the historians will say, researchers will say, apple is not the fruit. When they trans, then they did the English translation. This is the pomegranate is the fruit of the paradise. This is the secret fruit. So these are the things, right? Like a fruit of the gods. So this is the fruit they ate. So not the uh, apple. The reason they are saying is like in the Middle East, uh, like this is the common fruit. This is also like a heart shape, red color, all those similarities. Does that make sense? Maybe when they first translate, they didn't know about pomegranate. I have no idea. But I'm telling you, some people still say that that fruit is not apple. I don't care which fruit it is. The, you know, but they are saying the forbidden fruit was a pomegranate. That means that says something, right? I'll tell you another story. I am sure some of you don't know this one. But I believe because I read this before. That's why I'm telling you. Okay, so you know Adam and Eve. They were very happy. Everything was there in the paradise. Like they were like, you know, the buddies. Like uh, they can, they have superpower. They don't, they can see at night. They can talk to animals. They are like so cool. Like that, right? When the God told like, do not touch that. You know what I'm saying? So... But they couldn't, of course, people, they say like, you know, Satan have some revenge to do. So Satan cunningly talked, made friendship with a woman, woman, because man is really strong and woman is really too gentle and easy to manipulate. Those are the things that I read before. So that's why Satan actually went always used to, you know, if you read too much, you will know all those things. Anyway, you, you hear. Okay, whatever I read, I am going to tell you here. Okay. So, this uh, going to uh, went and talk to, made friendship with her. Those are this one of the things saying. Anyway, so when she made, uh, made friendship with her and at the end, they trapped her, right? Like, okay, she ate and they, they God and angels kicked her out from the heaven. You know, both, you know, if you, if the woman eat, he is the part of that, right? Like they both are made for each other. So they are kicked out from heaven, uh, paradise and went out. So if you read a book called, I was tempted to taste that one. <laughs> anyway, if you read that book of Adam and Eve, I read it before. That's, I believe that's the one I have to go back and read again. Okay. So. Oh, actually, their story is very sad. Maybe we will talk about those later, you know. Anyway, when they, kicked, nobody talk about it. In the Bible, there is no, because there is no space to write, right? It's only like a very compact book, like hyperlinked text, right? But they kicked them out and the God made angels to be like a gods in front of the paradise, right? Gate of heaven, right? And they cannot get back they tried people don't talk about that in the those books it's talk about those it's like even if it is like i don't want to argue saying is it right or wrong or something but for the interesting aspect i'm telling the story okay they really wanted to go back they don't like earth because earth is like you know rough they had like a really beautiful life in that paradigm and part of her that's what it's Billy. we will talk about that some other time so anyway they wanted to get back to paradise oh they couldn't there is a there was a cherubim there and you know they cannot access cherubim is really really powerful so anyway they came back and lived in the it is called a, um, the place called a cave of treasures okay i remember like reading uh these are the two people right they don't have anybody else to talk to each other and also they always thought they're like oh you know we cannot see at night now we we lost all the powers right we were very happy and i'm hungry i don't want to eat from earth because they don't like the earth food right they always ate they like a heavenly food and so now they got an idea let's go to paradise like a gate of heaven and request god like to give us food, you know, like we would love to have some food from heaven. Does that make sense? So go, uh, they actually went back to the gate of the paradise 
and they just waited you know like i'm sure this angels may be thinking like what the heck you were supposed to be out why are you here right anyway angels went and you know god said okay okay give some fruits and some plants from the heaven so it says that you know some of the history like in i don't know some historians i don't know where i read it says that this fruits one of the fruit is i think that it says per, uh, prom pomegranate is one of the fruit gave to this uh, adam and eve okay you take it and grow it in heaven right they gave sent some seeds and i remember uh, reading this but i do, i cannot tell you where i read okay so it says they landed on earth uh, somewhere in india that's fun, interesting you know maybe they have like some of the fruits there and i heard like it is because it is like what is it uh, it's called sandalwood those kind of things are in india and of course some part of africa and all maybe that's those are the reason anyway so they brought some fruits and seeds from heaven paradise and planted on earth that's just, you know those parts claiming that anyway it indicated that it is the fruit of the gods okay anyway they ate say uh, like a, you know they were happy then forbidden fruit story you understood right so then about the um, seven species of uh, which the land of israel was praised included in uh, i don't want to tell you which one is those details but keep in mind in the old testament there is a, a book called book of genesis in that one it says that israel or promised land is like i said in the torah same thing right so it mentioned that these seven fruits uh, uh, grow there and one of them is like a, a pomegranate i'm sure like those ingredients all this olive uh, honey figs you know figs all those are there you know along with that this fruit is also considered that and one of the fruit you know and another uh, place it says that pomegranate is one of the fruits brought by back by the uh, 12 spies uh, in sankhya sankhya means uh, numbers right and the old testament one of the uh, books says that uh, you know joshua the guy like anyway so they wanted to know where they are going right they are traveling to going to promised land before they reach there they spend send some spies you know these are smart people so they send some spies to look at it what kind of place is that so they brought a top pomegranate isn't it wonderful so they said like who oh, they have a fruit we never seen that you know you know so they brought that pomegranate with that you know anyway then king solomon you heard about king solomon right the famous guy so this king solomon's palace and they you know even in the temple of course i watch remember watching that movie solomon's treasure or something like that right? king solomon's mine i remember that you know it's an old movie anyway so everybody know about solomon and the treasure those kind of stories because you know anyway so his temple has like a big pillars and even his courtyard everybody everywhere has he has pomegranate trees and then he has sculpt sculptures is that how do i pronounce sculpture sculpture okay listen english is my fourth language so you pardon me if i cannot pronounce sculpture <laughs> okay so sculpture of pomegranate was there uh, i know it's not an excuse i should i should uh, pronounce well okay uh, the sculpture of uh, pomegranate was there in solomon's temple and that is you know it's already clear and it's in the books and all maybe historians also talk about that you know and also in the uh, old testament and like in the bible they talk about breaking the fast uh, they use the pomegranate you know recommendation you know that mean you know somebody told them recommendation it's a very precious food then there is somewhere saying water soaked you you wash you put this in the water and water soaked pomegranate you used to uh, uh, so look at the invisible ink you know invisible ink i know we i don't know how many hours it already took more for me to talk about this thing 
time is running out therefore i'm not going to do detail with all the stories but we are almost done with the stories so this invisible ink i think you may watch the movie um you know uh, i think the national treasure i never watched that movie so i don't know i, I remember watching that clip you know they reveal there is a paper with the invisible ink is there not is there is like in one of the like maybe some of the bond movies you will see those things right similarly and they use lemon juice to uh, display that uh, thing right they use the uh, and heat can activate it it's actually like a ferrous sulfate and water you can write invisibly and they use acid or bases to activate it it's just a chemistry you know you remember doing chemistry experiment alkali acid and when you mix together like a, a not that mix so you can get colors you know what i'm saying so that's how that's how the story so it's saying in the bible also i think it is there to talk about that then another thing is in the uh, pomegranate um, they use it for a shade let me uh, save this in this so that um, anyway maybe at the end um a pomegranate a tree was used to buy king soul okay so here is the thing there is two souls like i'm not talking about soul of tarsus soul of tarsus was a, like a greek speaking jew you know he was like a super smart if you talk about bible and uh, if you ask me tell me three smart people in bible there is only three big guys like one is the king solomon of course no excuse he's he was his father was like trained him really really well during his early childhood and so the kid become super smart that's the king solomon even though he and tragically but the second one is the soul of tarsus you know the third one is like you you may know that the person who wrote the book of what is it the gospel of luke right luke luke was a physician he was a doctor so he was also a smart guy but the soul of tarsus is the guy like he was so cool greek guy he actually ended up in you know killing all the christians but god used him you know used him you may heard about people talk about things like you know if god um, god can use people right uh, a typical example is soul of tarsus sorry <laughs> so uh, yes yeah, soul that's a, that's what his name right so um how i am tempted to tell you the stories because i love to tell stories you know so so all of tarsus let me tell you in few minutes okay so this guy actually uh he was super smart right like he can read and write like like really really super smart so the, in the roman empire he was a big guy so he went and killed all these christians like you know who were following jesus all that stuff okay. so what in the christianity like in the jesus stories if you really really you know use your brain and talk about what jesus is saying is okay this is not the life nothing is done after earth so this is what jesus was telling okay there is a life after death and that's it that's all he wanted to tell people right so you know of course he believe in all those but he doesn't care about this new changes or anything he started killing these christians and uh, actually god used him you know <laughs> one day while he was traveling the road to damascus you may heard about that right the big place some day i want to go there i would i want to how that place look like you know uh, anyway so the he was on on his you know he was hit his buddies he was on a big horse and he is very powerful he is traveling to damascus and jesus was crucified actually okay this is after the crucifixion and <laughs> jesus actually if you crucify somebody you are going to disappear right but he came back okay that means people who don't believe in that uh, have to go and read the like all these you know the near death experience we will talk about all those in future you know so people with a like there is a lot of near death experience nd nd that's what we will talk about anyway so he got a real near death experience that time he saw he knew that jesus was dead but he was so surprised to see this guy is actually 
appearing in front of him. It's like an angel or something, ghost or something. And he talked to him and he just disappeared. You know, she just disappeared. <laughs> oh my God, he, he lost his eyesight because it is so powerful, right? I heard about like if you see angels or, you know, it's like going underworld and coming back, right? Similarly, because of that power, he lost his eyesight and, you know, he got some instruction and he fixed it. And of course, if you got some experience like that, you are not going to be the same like that. Anyway, God used him later. Okay. Maybe we will talk all those some of the time. But if you look at it, you have in the New Testament, you have four Gospels, four people wrote. One of the smart guys I was talking about, this Luke guy, right? He was a very super smart guy. He wrote under three other people, right? John, Mark, Matthew, all those things. But after that four texts, you have another session called Acts of the Apostle Pravartanangal. That was in Malayalam language. It's called Acts of the Apostle. So when you look at that, all those is written by and the revelation, you know. So this is like God has a plan. Somebody very responsible have to write these things, right? So God chose this soul of Tarsus, right? I have no device. Oh, yeah, I know why I said that. Sorry about that. That is not the Tarsus uh, soul I am talking about. I'm talking about the three kings, like a famous first king of the Old Testament. There is a soul, Saul, Saul, Saul. So this is the story. Okay, it is very easy to remember if you don't know the story I'm telling you. You know, in the Old Testament, there was God, there was humans. And, you know, these humans were like really whining, whining, whining. You know, give me that, give me this. You know. you know, if they make a mistake and they try to justify, right? They said, you know, the all the other Gentiles and other people have kings. We don't have a king. That is the reason we cannot behave well. You know what I'm saying? So actually God wanted you just leave your life. You don't need a king or anything. You just leave your life like a, like a paradise, you know, like leave like a bird. Look at the birds. They are not eating or sorry, sowing or reaping or anything. Leave a free life. You know what I'm saying? That's what God wanted. But no, man wanted so many complications. So, okay, he gave king. Okay, the first king is Saul, Saul, this Saul, I am sure I bet you know the other two people because if you are human and if you are living now on earth, you heard those two names. The second king's name is the, the Saul's son-in-law, son-in-law actually. His name is David, the King David, you know, the famous guy. He was a nice guy. And the third one is the King David's son. Why Solomon is smart? That's the reason. The third king was the Solomon, you know, the smart guy. So anyway, we don't want to talk about all those. So I'm talking about all these palaces have a lot of pomegranates there. But in the, in the Old Testament, they say King Saul, he was going to war on the way. There was like, you know, Middle East and the heat, you know that how hot it is, right? So Saul was resting under a pomegranate tree. Until then, I never knew that pomegranate can grow like really big. I thought it will be like, a, like I said earlier, like it may be an orange tree shape size. But no, maybe a big tree. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not sure. I may need to Google and see how big a pomegranate tree can be. You know, it will be wonderful. Someday I'm going to have a pomegranate tree. I may have to grow this from seeds. We will do that together, okay? So, so let's talk about, I think, um, I think you understood, like in, in Bible, it's a big thing. And also, like, you have to understand this Old Testament is shared by Jews, right? Torah. So, okay, suppose I may, suppose to, I have to re restate, otherwise Jews will be angry with me. Christians share things with, books with the um, Torah. You know, maybe that's fair enough to say. Like uh, Islam's share books with the uh, Jews and Christians. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, when you read, you will, everything makes sense, guys. It's not a rocket science. Anyway, so let's talk about it. Uh, let me finish with uh, maybe 
one more two more example then we will be done okay so uh, so bible has that oh okay I, I am tempted to tell you that story also actually that is not pomegranate so you may be very mad at me but i wanted to tell you i was thinking it is pomegranate that's why i wanted to tell you because uh, when i looked at it it is not for you know to tell you guys i was thinking oh that's a pomegranate okay so there is a guy named jacob right in the old testament okay so this is joy jacob I, oh my god i have to make a video for that like it is a very interesting story funny story you know what i'm saying oh this guy fall in love with one lady and he end up in marrying two people and his father-in-law actually tricked her to marry him to marry the other woman how how drunk you can be in a wedding day tell me you know i don't know anyways he instead of marrying this girl they anyway this guy had two wives right like one is called leia and the second one is called rachel anyway one day these uh, leia had kids you know but the rachel it's it's actually depicting like the uh, it's like in some of the other stories we will talk some of the time um one woman is like you know they have kids and the other woman is like a symbol of beauty you know what i'm like some people like now also like they don't want to make kids they will take birth control pill. i don't know like you know i'm not talking about that's bad or anything i'm talking about the you have to understand my stand view uh, sorry not view my what do you call what i'm talking about is in the story what it is saying is uh, this uh, rachel doesn't have children but she wanted to ch want a child so leia's son's name is uh, reuben right this guy one of the guy, kids so this reuben was bringing i was thinking that is a pomegranate because that's the reason why i thought about right i'll tell you because this uh, rachel wanted rachel doesn't have kids i am sure somehow they know that these fruits are i think some fertility something related to that otherwise how these people like she was willing to share her husband with the with the leia for that fruit if you can share a, like you know if you are like a, not at all friendly with the other woman and all of a sudden you will be like yeah you can share this give me like 10 i don't know 50 million dollar or something or something you know what i'm saying so maybe um similarly this fruit is so precious so she was ready to give this give her share her husband okay i'll give you my husband for a night you know actually that's what she said you know it's like you know what is that movie with the richard gear and uh, he, no no he's not richard gear you know for the money the guy buy a woman i forgot that movie anyway so it's a demi Moore movie right anyway so i was talking about the uh, this rachel actually got this fruit i was thinking that is pomegranate then after that he, he ate that fruit she ate that fruit and in next i don't know couple of chapters you will see the i have to go and read again see this lady actually got children two children two sons she got later you know what i'm saying so the what is it called like a I know, that's a big story it's very interesting stories you should read often you know what i'm saying instead of watching all this tv and stuff you know anyway so this rachel actually like um uh, ate this but that fruit is not pomegranate that's called mandrake i am not it's okay here is the thing i am not sure whether you know of course like in other papers or other area also sometimes english translation has problems so i don't know whether it is by translation issue i'm not sure but it says it is mandrake mandrake fruits i have no idea mandrake. whenever i hear mandrake when i google i saw a fruit it looks like a toxin you know poison it's like a cancer drug it's like a wing alkyl not wing alkyl what is it a topocid or something it's made with a, some fruit you know so it looks like some toxic fruit but it is says mandrake i don't know whether it is pomegranate so there is stories behind like all the fertility there is in hindu mythology there is things like that i seen like i read a lot of stories like we don't get time if we keep telling all this so i should stop talking about this you know what i'm saying
and like in the, even in the, let's finish with the bible thing like uh, okay in the king solomon's like a, Sam, a song of solomon says like okay you wake up in the morning and uh, walk in the vineyard 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 okay walk in this and uh, let's go look at the flowers of to see whether the pomegranates are flowered you know what i'm saying so those things are very highlighted so that means pomegranate is really everywhere you know in hinduism it's like a, like i said it's a beauty and a strength and a god god is like a durga like a durga puja people talk about like they always bring the uh, pomegranate and give to her and you know the respect you know those are the things and in quran they consider as a garden of uh, like in they, this fruit is in the garden of paradise they also agree that and it is considered as an apple of paradise that's what they say and the symbol of strength you like it, all these kind of things you know each pomegranate contain one seed like i told you before right they believe in quran they believe this come came from paradise one seed so if you eat all the seeds you get one blessing you know so sarastrian is a persian religion uh, pomegranate leaf remain green most of the year so they considered this is a symbol of eternal life you know and in china you will see ceramic arts you know widely used as a wedding present they use, you give an open pomegranate as a like a, like a symbol of you know wedding present and all and i think we talked almost we started with the uh, egypt's pharaoh's palace you know their mummy and their palace all those things and we ended in china you know okay so all these maybe i didn't i forgot to mention the south american story we will talk some other time so let's finish this one so that i can finish the video so i wanted to talk about the health benefit okay let me put this away so that i can tell you this or oh, maybe let's be there let me wash my hands so that I can tell you the story. Okay, so what it says is, um, okay, first, first thing first. I told you earlier. Let me wash. So the um, uh, fruit. If you drink fruit, keep in mind. This has a lot of fructose, okay, sugar. Make sure you don't over, over drink or eat sugar. That is so dangerous for you, right? So be careful about how much you eat and drink, right? That's very important, especially if you are diabetic. It is very important how much sugar you are eating or drinking. So you need to make sure to it's on your hand to decide all those, okay? Then like i said my advice is eat eat chew really well and eat it it is the seed is good for you seeds uh, brand what is it the outer covering the kernel not kernel kernel i forgot all the botany and everything you know anyway the uh, shell of the she uh, seed i'm not talking about the um, the fluid part uh, i'm not talking about the fleshy part i'm talking about the seed cover that shell that is actually when you chew and swallow it is very good for the digestion that's a very good study a lot of studies that say that microbes grow really well and oh i'm telling you if you like a two food if you have to pick two food for helping your digestive health i will give you two one is pomegranate one is um, yogurt yogurt has a lot of good bacteria that will help you like you don't need to eat like yogurt every day no and you don't need to buy the expensive fancy what is it called fancy um uh, uh, what is it oh sorry i was thinking something okay uh you don't have to uh, buy like a what's that fruit called the red strawberry strawberry uh, yogurt or anything just eat plain yogurt maybe three four spoon at least twice or thrice a week that is good that is very good for your belly and this if you chew and eat it this is also good for your belly because it is helpful for the gi health okay and you should always remember to take it moderation 
no do not take excess that is not going to be helpful for you okay then first study let's talk about the type 2 diabetes okay that is a big thing right so the patients with a type 2 type 2 diabetes and diabetes and hyper hyperlipidemia in these patients there are some studies they showed that they reduced the total cholesterol level and the LDL level, LDL, I told you what is LDL. Don't ask me to explain again. I can explain again in another video, not now. So go watch early if you want it. Okay, see this low density lipoproteins were less, you know, but no, not much change in HDL and triglycerides. Triglyceride, if you have 500 or high, it is so dangerous. Like, you know, you need to control. But other than the, the major one is LDL, okay? So that means it, it I don't know about it. Is, is it with the niacin? I didn't get enough time to walk, read everything. I don't know whether niacin has a role, but, uh, but because that is a vitamin B3, you know, because this fruit has vitamin B3 also, you know, but some other minerals, there are some other examples. So I will talk about, okay, so this study I'm talking about, okay, all these studies, not all, some of them I am linking in the comments. You can look at that paper and read it. If you understand, if you want me to explain to you, I can do it later in another video sometime in future. But I put at least five, I can put five or, I don't know, five, six studies if you want that, okay? Okay, so uh, 200 ml of pomegranate uh, juice per day for six weeks, okay? Six weeks means one and a half months. In patients who have type 2 diabetes and cholesterol, right? They showed reduced triglycerides and LDL in one of the studies, okay? And their, in like their result is, they're considering this, this may be the reason because the reduced oxidative stress because this fruit has a lot of antioxidants, right? And this will prevent or reduce lipid peroxidation, okay? And the increase glutathione activity. Okay, you may be asking me, what is, what the heck is glutathione? Oh, don't worry. This is very simple. Okay, so in your body, it's like a magnet, right? If you take, if you have a lot of um, iron pieces scattered in my, you know, in this fruit, right? Like in the, if I have a ball of pomegranate fruit, fruit seeds and it is mixed with some iron metal pieces what do i do i bring the big uh, magnet and put it here all the mag uh, magnet will pick up all those iron particles is that make sense okay that's it simple that's what happening in cell if your cell has a lot of bad things this glutathione activity what's happening is they're gonna pick up all those bad stuff and so that means this pomegranate can increase the glutathione activity. Does that make sense? You know, it's very simple. So it's very good for your cell. That's what it's saying. So it's going to reduce the lipid peroxidation and increase the glutathione. That's a very good. Also in diabetic patients with the atherosclerosis. Okay, maybe we need to spend another hour, some other day to explain that to you. If you want, you come and let me know. Okay, so. So atherosclerosis, it's it's symbol, okay? If you have too much LDL and too much cholesterol, if you eat too much, and if you eat a lot of food every day and accumulating, this is going to stuck inside your blood vessel and start plaque, all those problems, right? So the patients who has that plaque and the diabetes, some of the studies showed they improved macrophage activity and antioxidant effect, okay? What is, make it simple, very easy. Okay, I don't have time to explain that because it's a long video, I'm sure. I don't know what time I started either because I didn't even look at the time. Okay, so this pomegranate, um, what am I saying? So this, uh, sorry about that, mm, is macrophage activity I was talking about. Okay, don't worry about macrophage. I'm think, going to explain in a very simple way. So what the study says is in patients with diabetics and atherosclerosis, that means in cholesterol and there is some blood, plaque and block and there is problems are going on in their body, 
our white blood cells you heard about in the blood you have white blood cells right very simple to understand so these white blood cells are like a soldier army they go around and clean the things you know they are like a cleaners right like they do everything you know they protect our body poor things okay so macrophage actually they become if they activate too much and also some activity regulation is important right that regulation is we don't have time that's why i don't want to get into that detail but the act improved activity is, will be showing with this fruit this is good okay and it reduce inflammation okay no effect on uh, tumor necrosis factor that is tnf alpha and uh, almost like a positive about positive impact on uh, protective uh, effect from cancer some of the studies showed that and uh, decrease lipid peroxidation in type 2 diabetes uh, also uh, in some studies with the better liver and same profile you may heard about like a, of course they have to get a bigger sample for studies uh, for longer duration if it is like a one year study that's not enough actually like you know some of them are six months study three months study that's not enough you need like really really long and big some of the studies have about 300 400 people in the group that is a good thing you know if you get a lot of sample size we need bigger sample size thousands of patients study and also longer duration those are the two things missing according to national nih nh article okay and diabetic patients second study okay so understand this fruit can benefit our cholesterol profile that means if you eat i will tell you i i have somewhere i written or maybe the uh, article i am attaching down it's a scientific paper if you don't understand uh, this is what whatever i am saying that's all it's there okay so you don't have to worry about okay so here is the thing so that's saying one of the studies maybe i'll i have somewhere i'll yeah i'll tell, talk about that later so if you eat very little for every day that might not work you need a little a big portion okay about 200 ml kind of ml fluid like that is a lot right so that's why i'm saying it's, it's you literally have to chew and eat it okay and then buy it then another one is diabetic so the first one you understood it has some effect it can reduce ldl there is different mechanism already proven mechanisms are there and i will talk about all the cell signaling and everything in future if you like to look at all those details then diabetics diabetics especially okay you may heard about your insulin resistance and all right so increased beta cells to produce insulin that's a big thing you know what i'm saying the patients who have diabetics type 2 diabetics so this is the thing okay keep in mind make it simple okay that means you have you eat food you need energy right you need to eat food the problem is this glucose will not go into the cell but it's actually staying in the blood that's a bad thing right that's a reason they ask you to go control sugar don't eat too much ice cream like you know what i'm saying like carbs or anything why is it your body don't have that mechanism they are insulin resistant because your muscles are not taking enough because you need a key to open the cells that is the insulin you so you need insulin to open so that the cells can you know the glue transporters you know don't worry about it but just keep in mind when you take this every day some clinical trials showing that you can increase this insulin insulin sensitivity that means your beta beta cell beta cell okay beta cell in the pancreas okay you have a little organ called pancreas not only liver you have a pancreas okay okay if you don't know don't worry about it. if you are a wall street guy you don't know about that right anyway i think you already everybody know that and everybody studied in 10th grade right okay so this pancreas produce they have beta cells right alpha cells so the beta cells not the glucagon i'm talking about insulin somehow this treasured red thing red pills have some magic they can increase the activity of uh, beta cells you know of course there should be some cell uh, cyto like a cell culture studies available we can go ahead and read sometime but keep in mind whole fruit studies they did okay i like that study of course um, because 
the next study I'm talking about is with the horse fruit. They use, uh, this is a 2016 study, okay? They, this article says they used only 40 patients. They are type 2 diabetics and with MI, myocardial infection, okay? So that means they had heart problem. And that's benefiting now, you know. And then, see, I, am, I have a paper here to read. I, I wrote like some things like this, you know. You can see these kind of things. Like I wrote like a little bit to explain to you. I have like all the quotes here. So I don't think you will understand all those. So that's the reason. Anyway, type 2 diabetics with AMI myocardial infection. That is the study showing the insulin uh, production is increased in this patient. That is a very good study. I like it, you know. Then the next one, number three is blood pressure. There is a paper called in 2019 in that I like the study because it's distinguishing the two uh, amount of uh, pomegranate, how much it is. So they use the uh, pomegranate juice, 50 ml for a month. The patient didn't show any changes, but whoever took 200 ml for six weeks, that is one and a half weeks. That showed very good effect. So, decreased blood pressure in type 2 diabetic patients. That's a very good thing, right? Hmm, I like that. And there are some studies showing liver and same. They reduce the ALT and type that's also type 2 diabetic patients. Oh, there is a study in about obesity. There is not only, there is tons, but I just looked at one of that. And it's saying insulin resistance can be reduced then. And... They take 50 type 2 diabetic patients. They are overweight. They are obese. They gave 8 weeks pomegranate juice. Okay. They gave to them. And this study actually happened in Iran. Okay. Iran. They did that. And the glued for um, gene, you know, encoding. They looked at something. And one of the uh, Iran studies in with the seed oil. Uh, of course, there are two studies I'm talking about. One is in about uh, pomegranate juice for 50 patients. The second study is in Iran. That is actually the uh, pomegranate seed oil. Okay. So I'm telling you, you don't have to wait for all those complications. Just eat the fruit. That will help you. Then the next study is about cancer. Okay. There is tons of studies available, but... Prominently, I can tell you two things. One is good for prostate cancer. Second one is breast cancer. These are like proven studies are there, but we need really long-term benefit. Of course, don't you stop medication. If you are taking cancer medication, if you are stopping and eating this, you are stupid. Don't do that because cancer medication, like though, like disease, you take certain medication, you cannot stop. You have to, because if you are growing bad cells in the body, the medication you are taking is to kill the bad cells. So please, please take it, okay? Because I I have one of the history in last month in my family, one of my aunts, she she just don't want to take medication because medication, some of them like a methotrexate, like a 5 fluoroacetate. some of the drugs are like a really, has a bad, uh, like a doxorubicin, like a negative impacts, right? So she don't want to take it. So she didn't take it and she passed away. Poor thing. So I don't want you to die at all. Please, please eat it. Okay. But I'm talking about additional to that one. Okay. So I'm telling you, you can avoid maybe these conditions. I don't know whether completely avoid, but you can include this. So this study is saying uh, uh, prostate cancer. There are 183 patients. They did. And. There is not much effect in this 183 patients, but some studies showed a positive effect. Okay, this I wrote you know, two weeks back, so I don't remember that paper. Okay, so don't tell me to explain all those. If you really need it, I can make it some other time, but let me try to finish this fast, okay? And breast cancer, okay. And then skin and lung cancer, some effect, some of the studies, all these are giving evidence with uh, some signaling pathways that's why you feel like oh okay that will work and of course it has to be in the in the results that's the reason you cannot take that as a pill and uh, cure cancer we are not up to there someday we can maybe right so all these breast cancer and all this allergic acid that's a component in this fruit that is the influence actually helping to cure cancer that's what it's saying 
because this has this is has some effect on cell signaling there are contraindication for uh, this pomegranate sublimation if you are taking a uh, cancer drug so you always talk to the cancer like a, your oncologist before you take all this supplementation or taking medication or something like that does that make sense okay write it down somewhere and ask when you see your doctor next time is that okay if i eat pomegranate half a pomegranate every day is that okay ask her ask that person okay that's what that's why you pay you know they have to help you okay uh it will help for the heart diseases there are multiple studies 289 patients in 2009 studies i like that study because it is published in of course i believe in most of in some of the journals but this journal i believe because it has a strict uh, uh review policy it is american journal of cardiology published paper it is 2009 paper 289 patients with the heart diseases they drank pomegranate juice 240 ml per day for 18 months okay i am telling you i don't advocate i am not a pomegranate like a juice lady also i don't know whether it oh maybe i'm sure you can buy pomegranate juice i will not say that you can buy pomegranate juice and drink and get the equal effect of the fruit no you will never get it i am guaranteeing that if you have all those if if you eat fruit that's different than you may be wondering oh maybe this lady has pomegranate farm or something i am telling you no i am not i wish then i could have eat a pomegranate every day you know what i'm saying sometimes when you go to the store you don't get pomegranate that's not the reason i'm telling you the why i'm mentioning is i don't want anybody to misunderstand me okay why i'm saying is one of the studies i read somewhere saying that allergic acid component is less in pomegranate juice so you don't get full benefit if you eat the fruit or they drinking the fruit like drinking the like a stored fruit sorry stored cold or preserved fruits that will be different same thing if you use the mixer and filter it will be changing i think it's better to eat that's why i am advocating for eating you know this study in american journal of cardiology 18 months uh, the patients tried and that is a double blinded study also so oh, here you go heart diseases 289 patient not that high but still okay the next one that is also proven gingivitis if somebody has a dental problem and then there is a uh, plaque and problems especially type 2 diabetic and uh, uh, hyperlipidemia patients have those kind of problem you can take this fruit and uh, you, like there are a lot of studies showing that because of the free radical scavenger effect of these fruits um, and i oxidants you can heal those conditions of course you brush your teeth and eat healthy there is a lot of things but add this this will help you and there is another one i saw another paper with a stomatitis stomatitis means what is it it is the uh, wound or ulcer in the mouth like little patches right develop in the mouth buccal area so maybe the less minerals in the body or maybe some people take drugs can develop that right you are you have to take those drugs right so you can eat this one and it can be helpful in you know, help help to reduce you know the next one is digestive health it has a lot of fibers and seeds and uh, if you don't if your belly is gentle i of course i already explained that to you so please look at that and listen earlier first half maybe uh it can cause diarrhea if you just if your if belly is very too gentle okay and if you eat too much don't go crazy start eating a, a spoon or two a we sorry a day and then increase that okay please and breast cancer allergic tannins and uh, components uh, can help and uh, anti aromatic activity i don't anti aromatase enzyme and aromatase enzyme okay if somebody has breast cancer about 70% of the breast cancer is er estrogen receptor positive breast cancer okay some people have about 20% uh, hr2 positive her2 positive so what i'm saying is of course people take tamoxifen or anastrozole of course drugs you should take it 
but one of the studies i was looking at that's showing that there are clinical studies going on also anti aromatase activity is observed with uh, this uh, fruit juice like a um pomegranate fruit juice okay and uh, and a proliferative effect also this can control some of the bad cancer cells that means if your cancer is estrogen receptor positive that means if it is estrogen sensitive cancer if the doctor use those words you can depend on this of course you have to take the medication trust me you have to but i'm telling you talk to the doctor and add this to your food this can control your uh, um oh my god this is look at this this is dark red this is not scarlet this is not ruby this is i don't know blood red blood clot red anyway so let's come back okay so an as uh, aromatase inhibition activity the or it can reduce the synthesis of estrogen okay bad effect of estrogen okay cancer cells depend estrogen to grow does that make sense estrogen is good for your body but the problem is some females or some patients both male can get it to, in a different organs i'm not talking about breast cancer for male so um so the some patients like uh, some of the cells will be sensitive to that means this is simple let me make it very simple some cells some cells get uncontrolled division they depend on estrogen to grow okay that's called estrogen sensitive cancer very simple to understand so they actually want that estrogen to so if you have can reduce estrogen exposure to that cells that is why you are taking tamoxifen or anastrozole or whatever drug you are taking so this fruit has some effect of reducing this aromatase activity aromatase is an enzyme which converted so it going to form the estrogen from those androgens you know the testosterone so all those kind of things anyway let's let's finish with the next two points allergic acid that has urolithin that can help glute okay anyway blood, blood our my breast cancer things are done right anyway keep in mind in male prostate cancer effectiveness and a female breast cancer effectiveness the next one last one let's finish with our gut microflora flora i think i talked about that throughout the video so you, you don't need any explanation much but keep in mind there is a component called urolithin you can read all those allergic allergic acid and which converted that formation so this in this pomegranate seeds are very helpful for gut uh, uh, our uh, intestinal microflora that means our intestine feel good and the bacteria in there good bacteria work well if you just feed them with this it's like you just feed them with a pomegranate seed right you just chew a pomegranate fruit and they are happy and it is very helpful for but make sure to watch your diary if you have diarrhea that means you are doing something wrong or it is not your you cannot tolerate that seed cover or something like that is it make sense so be careful when you are eating too much start with a spoonful of a day and i forgot the important thing okay do not sit there at a one stretch and finish one or two pomegranate no that's not how you eat you start from morning and i don't know like eat a spoon every hour or something like that is that make sense that is how you supposed to eat okay so same about like a juice also in case if you are drinking juice just drink little bit little bit not like a one one stretch and ha huh, and that one of the studies about the gut mi microflora with the urolithin they are specifically saying if you are taking if you are depending on pomegranate extract it doesn't have allogetanin effect okay there are studies there it cannot prevent heart disease or like a purely if you just depend on this and not exercising or eating bad food you know no this is not a magic fruit but it is a fruit fruit from fruit from the earth and it is very good so i think this helps but helps to reduce the risk 
and heal you. This has healing power. And I made my point. I don't know, is it one hour or two hour or whatever time I used, I made the point. If you didn't understand, watch again or read. Please read, you know, that will help you, you know. And we will talk about some other thing in the next video. And I am not sure whether it recorded or not. I'm still learning about recording, okay? If it is, hopefully you can hear me well also. I am not sure, but let's see. So if it is recorded well, I will post and hopefully some people will watch. I am not sure even if I get at least 10 views. <laughs> I am not sure about it. But let's see. This is November. That's what. November is pomegranate month and this is 2023 if so I can make another pomegranate video with the question answer section in 2024 November if this video goes really you know well if people benefit anything otherwise you know suggest me if you need to know something I would like to talk to I can, like I was planning to make a statin, like a statin drug, high cholesterol drug video. Maybe I'll make some other time. So you let me know what you want to hear. Or maybe Greek mythology or Bible stories or Old Testament stories. Or like, I don't know. You tell me like Hindu mythology or Quran stories or Jewish stories or human stories or stories. Okay, so go do your job eat your pomegranate and sleep well and drink water okay eat this not drinking okay bye bye take care thanks for watching if anybody watch until the end i really really appreciate it i'm sorry i deviated so many times but i appreciate you have paid patience to hear me and if you think it is valuable Please comment and let me know, okay? I am not sure somebody is going to subscribe me or not. I, this morning I saw one person subscribe me. I was so happy to see that. <laughs> you have no idea. I posted a couple of videos, but this is today's my day. So I thought I can just, I didn't have enough time, but I thought I can just do this. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Next time I will come with uh, some other videos. Bye-bye.